And we'll go ahead and get rolling here. All right, I see you, I see your hearts, cool. Awesome, I see you in the chat room. All right, awesome. So today's topic for the new year, happy new year to you guys, just by, by the way, I just wanna make sure that I get that out there. Today's topic for the new year is how to go and reach your goals without forcing them. And it's been something that has been on my mind and also been on the client's minds for the last couple of days. And the majority of us oftentimes will try and reach our goals with this crazy notion of trying to exacerbate and working ourselves 24 seven. And we don't give ourselves the actual time to embrace the reality of who we are, what we are, and what we want to do as a person. We're always busy giving out energy instead of actually taking in the energy that we need. And that is a brutal fault of ours because you cannot, you cannot in any way reach your goals by constantly going to a bank that is empty. I'm just going to go ahead and say that again. You can't go to a well that is empty. You can't pull out money from an empty bank account. And the majority of people are operating on empty. So you have to go and make time for yourself to restore yourself. You have to make time for your mindset to go and restore and find balance. You have to go and make time for you as an individual to cater to your needs so that you can reach your goals because you can only get so far running on fumes. So the challenge today, and I'm going to keep this session short, is for you to make sure that as much as you want to go and get your goals, that you're also putting money inside of your own bank, your mental bank, your spiritual bank, your physical bank, whatever it may be that you're lacking, that you're neglecting, that you're doing to make sure that you go and you use this time now as the new year has started to put the money inside of your own internal bank account. So I'm going to give you some practices here that are going to go in and essentially teach you to bring yourself back into a place of giving, giving back to yourself, because as you go and you give back to yourself, you can give outward. The first practice is to make sure that you're doing a journal every day. It doesn't matter if it's writing three lines about the great things that happened in your life, but getting the ideas outside of your mind, outside onto paper, onto a text pad, whatever it needs to be, is a good way to calm your mind, to go and remove the constant moving thoughts inside of your head. And it allows you to go into a place of not constantly running, but recharging, a place of giving up and settling into a space of true focus. That way you don't go to bed with that bouncing around in your head like a ping pong. The second one is to move. And it doesn't matter how you're gonna move, but you need to be moving. Blood circulation is one of the most underrated physiological functions that we as individuals run into. We oftentimes will run into a place of stagnation. Stagnation meaning that fluid is not moving. If fluid lacks movement, we then run into the place that we as individuals cannot function at the highest call that we can. And our brains start to go in panic if we don't have the ability to move fluid back and forth. If our brains become congested, we lose our ability to go and think, to process, to be present, to be in the moment, to go into the place of full functional ability of badassery. And we lose that ability when we run into stagnation. So move 15 to 30 minutes a day at the minimum. That way you can go ahead and get the fluid moving. You can operate at your best and you're moving nutrients and toxins out of your body through the natural means. The last one is going to be probably the most obvious one, but hydration. If you don't hydrate yourself, you run into a chance that your body will become very slow and sluggish, your nutrients and your toxins won't be able to move, you lose the viscosity amount inside of your body, it becomes overly viscous, and you become, again, stagnant. But 
hydration is important, the quality of your water is important, the nutrients that you put in your water is important, the ability for your fluid to go and move is important due to water. So those are the three big deals that I want you to go and take away from this session. I send you guys all my love. I really am excited about this year coming up. If you have any questions right now, I'll go ahead and take them live on Instagram, and I'll also go ahead and take them live here in the chat room. Uh, if you want to go and suggest any topics, feel free to go ahead and process that as well and, and ask in the question box. You're, you're very welcome. You're very welcome. I'll also be loading this audio onto uh, SoundCloud, and I'll be sending it out in the newsletter. If you're not subscribed to the newsletter, you can go to LewisRiveraMS.com, and uh, you can go ahead and submit a message, and I'll add you to the newsletter there. So I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your week, and I will then see you then in the next session at 3 o'clock Central on Friday.